Baby's Got Our Blue Jeans On was a big hit for Mel McDaniel and was written by Bob McDill. Uh, songs in the key of B-flat, we'll go over a couple of parts on the acoustic guitar. Of course, we're going to do the studio version where we're going to have a capo on the 8th fret. It's a pretty distinct part that you can hear pretty clearly, especially the high notes uh, in those chords. We're going to go over that. And then we'll also do kind of a bonus solo acoustic version with the capo on the 3rd fret where we incorporate that riff into what we're playing, but then we switch back to chords uh, while we're singing. On the electric guitar, we've got that really iconic electric guitar lick, as well as a number of other uh, support parts that we're going to learn. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the studio acoustic part where I'm going to try and teach this as close as I can to what I hear on the record, that original recording. And so we're going to need a capo on the 8th fret, and the main progression looks like this from what I can tell. Okay, so we're on the 8th fret here. Um, we've got a standard D chord that's open and then two above on the D string there, two above on the G string, three above on the B string, two above on the high E string. And then the progression moves using capo chords here, D to a G. But to do that, we'd really have to take this middle finger and go all the way from there, all the way over to that third fret on the low E string. And the melody of this acoustic guitar part is really this second fret on the high E string. And then we really want to accentuate this third fret of the B string. And so for the studio version, we've got the bass guitar. We've got the electric guitar down there for a lot of the song. We don't need to worry about that bass note. Uh, we can just play this D chord. Down, up, mute, up, and then play just the D, G, and B string on the third fret and have that ring finger kind of roll down just a little bit and mute that high E string. So you've got this, this note ringing out on the D chord. All right, so this is just going to be a quick bonus tutorial that will go over a different way to play this on the acoustic guitar that might be better suited for a solo acoustic and vocal performance. I do I play this song out a number of times and what I love about that studio acoustic part is it just fits in perfectly um, with what the band's doing and just really adds a lot and they put it way up in the mix. It's just a cool uh, acoustic part to learn. But if you're playing this all by yourself just with one acoustic, um, for me anyway, I prefer to beef it up a little bit, put the capo on the third fret, use key of G chords and incorporate that riff into the intros and some other places that we hear in the song. So let's quick go over it, okay? The, um, I start the song like this. Then we'll switch back to strumming uh, when the vocals come in. Uh, so I've just got a standard bar chord here, three frets up from the capo. 
which is on the three, four. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the lead guitar part for Baby's Got Her Blue Jeans On, very iconic lead guitar riff, electric guitar riff. I've got a nice country tone going here, uh, pickup selector all the way back to the bridge. Just a little bit of chorus, a little bit of reverb, and not much else, not a lot of gain. Uh, it's a pretty clean tone. Three, four, one. Uh, this is all going to be tabbed out right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. So pull those up. We're just going to learn them right in the order of the tabs, um, which is also the order that we experience these in the song. So let's start with this uh, riff. We're going to be in the key of B flat here, and it's all on position one diatonic in the key of B flat. So we're starting on the sixth fret of low E, and it doesn't come in on the down B, it comes in on one and. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a. So triads, folks. Uh, you've seen me post quite a few lessons on uh, triads over the years, and they're just so important. They're, for these comping lines, uh, they just work so well. Uh, we're starting with, you know, that's a B flat bar chord, right? We're just taking the D, G, and B strings on the third fret. We're picking that D string, hammering on to five. And then the middle finger is going to be on the fourth fret of B, and we're going to cluck the G and the B string. One more cluck on the D string, and then release that chord and just do the bar chord. One, two, three. Repeat, two, three. At the end of the verses, one, two, three, four. 